finally, finally, finally. A moment that I've anticipated since, uh, I want to say early 2020. It is finally here. I am excited about this and I am excited to share this. This is the Invicta Pro Diver 1953. I finally got it. Not the one that I wanted, unfortunately, um, but, oh, I got a smudge there, but nonetheless, I was able to get my hands on it. So, um, early 2000, early, earlier this year, um, Invicta released this watch with um, the original colorway of the Rolex Submariner Pro Diver 1953. And that's the one that I really, really wanted because it, it had that very vintage vibe to it um, but unfortunately I don't think Invicta is going to be re-releasing that colorway I think that was a very limited run that they did um, but anyways um, ever since the release of that watch the anticipation or the the hype behind it was insane a lot of youtubers um, were were there was a lot of hype behind it with youtubers um, few reviews out there um, and I didn't Pulled the trigger on it because Invicta wasn't selling it anymore. Uh, Joma Shop, which was one of the ones that was carrying it, was out of stock and had no into it. They really had no, they weren't sure if they were going to uh, replenish their inventory. And then the folks that did have this were selling them on eBay for ridiculous prices. And I just couldn't see myself paying that much for an Invicta. Um, you know, it, it just. It, even though I was in love with the watch, I was like, I am not paying that much for an Invicta. Because at the end of the day, this is an Invicta. This, when it comes to watches, Invictus is probably going to be your worst investment. But in terms of, you know, if you, if you like these pro diver style watches, then, you know, for, for, for your taste and like, it's a, you know, go for it. But if you're trying to put your money somewhere where it's going to be safe, this ain't it. Anyways, I digress. Um, yeah, I didn't see myself spending that kind of money on an Invicta, so I waited. And every, at least once a week throughout this year, I, I would go on Invicta's website and I would check to see uh, if they had this available. And about a week ago, last week, last week I got an email from Invicta that said they had new stock. So I went on their website and long and behold, I find the Invicta Pro Diver 1953 in this colorway. Um, a green and black one, a orange and black one, and a PVD version. Now, the PVD version, uh, let me see if I can show you what that looks like. Um, I'm not a fan of PVD watches, but this was very well executed. Uh, this is a gentleman I follow on Instagram who seen my post, and uh, he replied, oh, I'm waiting on mine, um, and he actually pulled the trigger on a PVD version. And this is him, uh, tying me up. Do post really, really good pictures on his Instagram. Definitely go over and follow him on Instagram. Uh, but yeah, that's the that's the PVD version there. Um, again, for me, not a fan of it, but um, he did a very good job there putting that on a NATO strap. I think any PVD watch um, looks better on a NATO strap or even a leather strap than to be putting it on a on a on a PVD coated bracelet. It just looks cheap to me on a bracelet. Where if you take that off. Put it on a band, looks way better. Anyways, Invicta bracelets are terrible. Um, but yeah, there you have it. Um, you know, some uh, just a real quick uh, take on this watch. Um, it's not going to be a review. I got an unboxing and a review coming soon on this watch. Um, something that I like Invicta did on this, and thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. They did not plaster Invicta all over this watch. Um, you know, Invicta... Stop doing that. Stop putting Invicta everywhere. No one cares. No one wants to see Invicta engraved on the side of the case. No one wants to see Invicta on every single link. Just, just tone it back. Just, just a little bit. Tone it back. Just a tad bit. This is perfect. All you gotta do is Invicta on the on the dial, just like you did there. Well done. If I can get this to focus. Just like you did here, right there. Look at look look look. It's beautiful. Not overdone. In fact, the logo actually looks good. Invicta. Just on down. Nowhere else. Well done. Um, or, you know, 
we know it's Invicta, so you don't have to plaster it everywhere, you know. Um, or you can just uh, make a, a submarine to put on your wrist. I don't know what is it with those oversized watches and who's buying them Invicta, but Jesus Christ. If I got into a fight with one of those watches and I, I, I could legitimately use it as a weapon, uh, instead of punching the person, I'll probably just... Mm. Anyways, that yeah, was corny, I know. But... I'm very, very happy with this purchase. Um, I think I paid, uh, it was about a hundred, it came out to like a hundred and six, hundred, I don't know, so it, it was under, it was under 120. Um, and uh, it did take about a week to get here, so bad, uh, terrible shipping times with Invicta for the free shipping. You can also pay for uh, two-day shipping. That's about $30. Well, anyways, take the $30, put, buy yourself some, some straps, and just wait for the damn watch to get there. Uh, don't be impatient. I almost paid the $30 because I was impatient. But, um, yeah, it just looks beautiful, man. I love the way that looks on the wrist. Yeah, it's... Anyways... Got a couple of video or got a couple of uh, shots on with this wrist. Uh, with, oh my god, it's too early for this. Got a couple of shots of this watch on wrist uh, of me out and about. So I'll be sharing that. I'll be sharing that in this footage. Stay tuned.